Yeah, when I was younger here growing up, there was jobs everywhere. When I was a kid, people worked. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s in the area, um, so I never knew Utica to be that thriving place uh, that you would hear from your, your grandparents or your parents. This is Utica, New York. It's a small city smack dab between Syracuse and the state capital of Albany. Believe it or not, this city not so long ago was on the fast track to becoming a major metropolitan area. Utica was thriving, especially in manufacturing and textile industries. But that golden age quickly changed, as much of the jobs and industries left Utica and went overseas thanks to globalization. This started the slippery slope, like many other Rust Belt cities. The jobs left, then the people left. According to the U.S. Census, in 1930, Utica's population peaked at over 100,000, but by the turn of the century, Utica's population dropped to its lowest at just over 62,000. So you may ask yourself, what's left? Why does anyone even stay? What could be the spark to bring this city back? I mean, this, this town has been gutted, let's be honest here. I left here in 1994 because there was nothing here for me. I had a decent job, but I wanted a better opportunity. Yeah, we, we went through a real rough period of time in the 90s and the early part of the, the, the 21st century. People left, a lot of my friends moved away. I went to college here, they went away to college. We, we lost uh, the air base, we lost um, more industry. Uh, we were starting to think that, that Albany, our state capital, didn't recognize who we were. Um, and I think we were, we were starting to really feel dejected. We always had a little image problem, but now it was a self-image situation. General Manager, thank you for coming We are deeply proud to announce today that we are relocating our minor league affiliate, our AHL franchise, here to the city of Utica. Um, you know, when I when I retired, I saw there was an opportunity. Um, I believe in the tourism industry. I believe in the, that sector of business, um, helping to grow the economy, um, and the state views it obviously the same way. So, by having a, land, a national engineering landmark here like the Utica Memorial Auditorium um, that was run down, we had an opportunity to revitalize it and to. Uh, the prototype of Madison Square Garden that it once was. You know, I think I, I look back at that day when the announcement was first made. We were uh, at Aquavino, and uh, the uh, the press conference happened, and, and I really think that from from that day forward, there was like a, a complete shift in in the mindset of people in this area. I think as we started off, we we made our way through the summer, and everybody pulled together to make sure the construction was done in a timely fashion, under budget, um, and then the start of the season happened, and. Our first 10 games, we were winless, and I remember the panic starting to, to rest in on you. Um, we really start to wonder, you know, one, are you ever going to win a hockey game? And then two, how long until the, until the area turns against it? But I do remember, I think it was the seventh game coming off the ice, and, uh, you know, for the first five, six games, I, I did hear people in the stands, uh, you know, some negativity, which is fine. I, I've handled that before in the past. 
But just out, I think it was the seventh game, I remember coming off and, and it was almost a standing o, uh, ovation for our team. I knew then that not only was our team all right, but I knew I was in a special place as far as uh, Utica and the people in Utica. I think it might have been the worst start in team franchise history or, or something like that. But, I mean, it was a rough patch, but um, the fans still were cheering at the end of each game, and that was encouraging. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was a rough patch, and good thing we got over it, and we, we actually had a, a good season after that. Uh, that's part of having excitement when you come to a city, a new city, a new team. They're excited for a team. I could understand if there was uh, boo birds or people booing the team off the ice. Um, but I think it really is an example of the people in Utica and what they appreciate and what they value. And it goes hand in hand with how you win hockey games, really. The Comets came in, they had a game plan, they executed their game plan, and they not only lit the area on fire, they caught him by surprise and just ignited uh, an enthusiasm that I don't think we've seen in an awful long time. Strong enough that the rest of the sport started to recognize it. In only their second season, they get the American Hockey League All-Star Game, and they've run a string of 30 consecutive sellouts. Small building or not, there's not a lot of places that can to boast that. I'd never been in a rink that's done that before and that was something I'll never forget the first game and the game I really remember is against Grand Rapids when we won at home that last game for about the last five minutes I don't think they they sat down or stopped cheering and you couldn't hear the guy beside you on the bench but when we won it was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had in hockey and that's one memory that I'll for sure never forget. I think since uh since the footprint of the Comets have, have come to Utica, New York, I, I think there has been a change. Um, I always speak heavily about the civic pride change that's come, but you know, with that comes a can-do attitude, and what, with that also comes small businesses. And the reasons that the small businesses show up down here uh, since the Comets have come around is because simply foot traffic. Um, we provide a lot of events down in downtown right now and there's eateries that pop up, bars that are popping up, restaurants that are popping up. You know, having the Comets be successful here, uh, having that uh, civic pride feeling again in the city of Utica has definitely encouraged other businesses to want to come to downtown Utica. Uh, when I was growing up, businesses were leaving downtown Utica. Now they want to be downtown Utica and you hear from developers all the time who are looking for uh, properties in downtown so they can open uh, restaurants, so they can open shops, so they can open uh, apartments. And I think a lot of that has to do with the Comets. It's just amazing what this team has done for the city, the downtown area. Businesses are blossoming. People have a, a whole new attitude. I see it growing. I see people moving in. And I think you can see other, uh, other quality of life improvement programs be coming on, online and down the road, starting with the comments, of course. You know, as much as Utica is proud and happy to have a team, I think we're also happy and proud to be in Utica as well.